Teachers were asked to pick one student who inspires us to come to school every day. I chose you. And I chose you, Tanner. Um, teachers were asked to pick one student that inspires them to come to work every day, and I chose you. And out of all the students I've taught so far, I chose you. Teachers were asked to pick one student um, who inspires them to come to work every day, and I chose you. Sorry. <laughs> But when I really sat and thought about it, I realized that who inspires me most and makes me want to come every day is you guys. I couldn't just pick one group, but it was my babies, my advisory babies. Right? To choose one student out of all of my kiddos, one student that inspires me to come to work. Do you know what inspires means? Mm -hmm. That's a tricky word, isn't it? It means that you make me want to come to work every single day and that I'm so excited to see you every single day and you make me want to be a better teacher. Can you believe that? I know. So out of all of my students, guess who I chose? Huh. Guess who I chose? Me. You. Right, kid? I chose you. First thing that inspires me um, is your drive to get the most out of every single moment that you're given. Every day you put a smile on your face that just lights up the whole room. Watching you succeed with tasks that you once struggled with makes me feel a pride unlike any I've ever felt before. Some days you still get frustrated with me because I make you read and do your work at 7.30 in the morning instead of just letting you put your head on the desk and go back to sleep, but you never hold it against me for too long. I am so appreciative of every conversation we have no matter how insignificant it may seem. It's just kind of funny that a couple weeks ago you mentioned that I was an inspiration to you, but yet you are my inspiration. So I just I want to let you know how much I appreciate you. Thank you for making me want to be a better teacher and a better mother and a better human being. What I love about this advisory is that over four years, you guys have become a family. Uh, you know when you talk to Jacob, you're going to get the truth about everything. Uh, whether you like it or not, or whether he likes it or not, but he always is just super respectful and responds to every situation in a positive way. So he's he's a great person to have around, and it's easy to get up and come to work when you have people like this. I cannot even begin to express to you how proud I am of all that you accomplished so far, and I can't wait to see all the things that you accomplish in the years ahead. And any teacher who gets to have you in the coming years is a lucky one. And I just want you to know how much you inspire me. Um, you're kind, you're loving, you're supportive, you're a terrific friend, um, you're hardworking, you're determined to find beauty in people and things all around you every single day. And you are the kind of person I want to be someday. <laughs> Gavin, you have this amazing and compelling attitude that brightens my day. And not getting to see you this year has really been a huge challenge. But I know that I've taught you everything I could and it's your time to now shine in your other grade levels. I'm so proud of the learner that you have become and I can't wait to see all that you will accomplish in your life. <laughs> um, you guys know, this is my, I hope you know, this is my favorite 50 minutes. Week. It's important to me that you know these things because I want you to know how big of an impact you've had on me. And you ask me questions and you make me teach you every day because you're not willing to settle for not knowing how to do things. And that is a gift to me and it's a gift to our class because when you ask questions, everybody learns. And that is every teacher's dream is that everybody learns. I love that you do that every single day. Thank you. You're welcome. welcome. Yes, thank you, Dana. Thank you. How does that make you feel? Happy. It makes you feel happy. It makes me feel super happy, too. So I want you to keep up your awesome attitude. Okay. And your big, now, yeah. and your big smile. Can you do that for me? Because mm -hmm. you make me want to be an awesome teacher. I'm just really proud of you, Sully. Thank you. You're a good egg. Thank you, Taylor, for making the world a better place simply by being part of it. Thank you for letting me be a tiny part of your life. I'm blessed to know you, and I am so proud to call you one of mine. I love you.
Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Angel. Because I don't know whether you needed me, but I sure loved you guys. So, thank you. I love you. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Joe. This is like the best surprise ever. <laughs>